Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Gear Up YouTube channel. We're so excited that you joined us today. As Indiana Gear Up works to build capacity and resources and to be of support to our schools, teachers, parents, students, and community partners, we first want to let you know of ways in which we can connect. As you're joining us today on our YouTube channel at Indiana Gear Up, please subscribe to our page, share with your friends, family, any community members that may be interested in learning more about the resources or projects that we're working on uh, throughout the remainder of the year into the summer, professional development that we have, as well as preparing for next year. Uh, you can find us on social media platforms such as Facebook at Indiana Gear Up, Twitter at Indiana Gear Up, as well as Instagram at Indiana Gear Up. Also, you can reach out to us via email, indianagearup at purdue.edu. We have staff members behind the scenes who are readily available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, today, we'll be looking at how you connect with us on our website at indianagearup.org. And more specifically, our resource tab that's available for teachers right now. Um, we have an Indiana Gear Up COVID-19 resource folder that's available and it's free. This was developed um, by a seasoned expert of team, uh, a team of regional directors um, who have really just have an ample amount of experience in the education field. Uh, there are several documents here um, that you can browse through and use at your leisure. Uh, today, more specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Gear Up Educational website resources. And each day we're going to be sharing a tutorial on one of these websites that is specific to the subject for the high school level, the link that is available, the description, as well as the services that are currently offered. Again, we hope that, that this can be of use to you now or in the near future for teachers, uh, staff members, parents, um, or community members. So enjoy. All right, today's educational website resource we'll be taking a look at is Biology Simulations. And this website provides virtual labs for students, which is really cool. It's an interactive opportunity for them. So as you see here on the top toolbar, you see simulations. We'll go ahead and click on that. And we'll just select a virtual lab to uh, walk through today. Um, as you can see down here at the bottom, worksheets are available for these simulations. Um, we'll go ahead and pick mutation for today. And they can read through the activity above that gives them an overview. And then as you scroll down, uh, we will go ahead and start the simulation. And here you can see you have bacteria, the UV uh, radiation time in which we'll go ahead and select 20. And then we'll um, make some conjectures, predictions, see what may happen here as we uh, put the bacteria into a antibiotic plate. as well as a control plate, and it's gonna go in the incubator as time uh, passes, we're gonna see the results here, and basically um, what the plate indicates. Um, have any of the bacteria uh, within the plate, has it mutated as a result of the resistance of the antibiotic? So here's your control plate. Uh, we did not do anything to that. It'll click here, there we go. Uh, as you can see, the control plate and bacteria that formed without the antibiotic uh, versus the bacteria that was actually mutated and resistant of the antibiotic. Um, so you can restart the simulation. Again, students can select different time or amount um, in which needed to um, take place in order to see various results. Again, uh, make a conjecture as that time increases or decreases and uh, see what happens compared to the control plate versus the antibiotic plate to see if results vary. So this, again, virtual labs, various simulations under topics, great for students to interact. Again, those activity worksheets are um, available down here at the bottom with the virtual labs that are available. Hope this is beneficial. Hope you can use it within your uh, digital classroom. Um, so we look forward to being that of a, of a source for you.
And that's all we have for today. Take care.